Good morning. Welcome to New Day. It is Wednesday, August 20th. We have breaking news in Ferguson. Tensions certainly remain, but the protests stayed largely peaceful here overnight. Uh, and that, as they say, you have to take progress, Kate, where you find it. And last night, there was progress. It's not ideal here. It's not normal, but it was better. That's an, an excellent point, Chris. And we're also today going to be examining what's going to be happening on the ground in Ferguson today this, and new developments in the investigation. We're going to speak with people who have worked with Attorney General Eric Holder as he heads to Ferguson. But for now, let's get more on the protests overnight, the progress being made. Chris is on the ground. Hey, Chris. Mm. And the investigation matters on the ground as well, Kate, because this is a distraction to police and investigators who are trying to look into the facts of the situation. So the more calm there is, the more focus there could be on finding answers. Now, we do know that 47 people were arrested, some of them for threatening. Uh, that was what was said last night, you know, in terms of the description of why this happened. Uh, but certainly, no shots fired. That's huge. Uh, Captain Ron Johnson notes a change in dynamic, saying this may be a turning point, but this turning point did not come easily. Police did have to respond forcefully several times, um, most notably after a small group of what's being called agitators lost control. Like so many nights before, Tuesday in Ferguson, quickly overcome by chaos. And disperse immediately. The agitators, the criminals, embedded themselves and hid behind media. They began throwing bottles, they threw urine on officers, and that's what caused officers to take action and begin to make arrests. Today,